So what I wanted to use these videos for each week is to just explain everything that's going on in the life of Mifri. As you can see now, I've set up six YouTube channels and I am actually able to upload to all six of them, simple as that, because of how I manage my time, how I manage everything really. And I have endless motivation to do things. And my reason for setting up so many channels is because YouTube tends to do better when a channel is focused on a single topic. So my main gaming channel originally was focused just on Final Fantasy XIV. I've done 1500 uploads of Final Fantasy XIV and so on. But as I grew tired of the game, I started to expand, let's say, and reach out and play other games and make guides about other games and so on. And the other guides I've made have been, some of them are the most popular videos I've ever made. So that's why I started to branch out. But then I wanted to branch out even further to non-gaming. So I've recently made a personal finance channel where I was talking about my personal finance, how I cleared my debt, how I managed my money today, today any useful things that I've learned over my time. Um, and I felt that those sort of videos just really didn't fit in on the main gaming channel. And um, even as well, I used to do long Let's Plays, you know, so the games, playing through games, things like that. But again, it kind of disrupts the flow of the main channel. So that's why I've made the six channels to separate these are the content I make. Um, these are the different types of content I make, but each channel is focused just on the subject matter. And I've been wanting to do these vlogs for a long time. And I want this to be an ongoing conversation with you guys. So if you have any questions, you want to catch up with me about anything, then just leave a comment and we could just keep it going because I'm still until now able to answer all comments across all my channels. So even if it takes me an hour a day, so be it, you know, it's worth it. So just to keep talking to you guys. And also as well, I found a new like sense of motivation to, uh, uh, everything I do online, which is great. It's great to be in a, a good routine. So for a long time, for a few weeks, maybe even a couple of months, I was not sleeping right. You know, I was staying up until six or seven in the morning. I wasn't sleeping. I was sleeping all day. I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't making videos. I wasn't making content and so on, which kind of hurts given that I'm a full-time content creator. You know what I mean? So, but one thing that helped me a huge amount, of course, remember anything I say in this video is based on my own personal experience. I'm not medically qualified. I am not financially qualified and so on. I'm just sharing my own experience. So I started taking these, uh, these uh, multi vitamins and minerals, uh, which has got a long list of uh, vitamins and minerals in them. I'm taking one of these every single day. And this one, um, container contains 365 pills, so an entire year's worth, and it costs about 17 pound, which I think is better uh, for me. And then I also take uh, these uh, cod liver oil. Now, this is not, like I said, medical advice or anything. It's just it's done wonders for me. So it has filled a void in my life. Like I've been able to. Uh, I feel so much better every day. I feel so much more energized. Um, I feel awake. I feel everything. And I start sleeping at night again. So it literally, the second it hit, hits midnight, boom, in bed, passed out, gone. I sleep for a good seven to eight hours, which is wonderful. And I've also been focused on the live stream as well. So those who don't know, I live stream every single day over on twitch.tv link in the description if you haven't seen my live stream before and basically I'm just playing through games and what I do and the way I approach playing games is I go after the platinum trophies on PlayStation so I've been playing my PlayStation 5 I absolutely love it like I've played my PlayStation 5 pretty much every single day since I got it I'm really excited about it I made other videos about it on my other channels and um, by going after the platinum trophy I feel like I'm getting my money's worth. So um, I am really, really pushing every single game to the absolute limit. So I recently completed Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I got the Platinum Trophy for Control. I just a couple of days ago finished and got the Platinum Trophy for Yakuza Like a Dragon, which I absolutely loved. 
and now I'm playing Days Gone because I never played it before and I'm loving it so far. Days Gone on PlayStation 5 is amazing. So I think it's a very underrated game, Days Gone. It, is, like, it has a lot of emotion um, and gives you the freedom to just explore the world. There's not just another zombie survival game. It's, it's deeper than that. So, and it's very, very good. And that's what I'm going to just keep doing. I'm just going to keep live streaming each day, keep playing through games, keep, keep trying to get up platinum trophies. And then every stream, I just upload it to my Let's Play channel. If you want to catch up on the streams that you may have missed. Now, the reason I do that is because I used to just highlight and keep VODs on my Twitch channel. And what happened on Twitch is there was... DMCA problems, let's say. Like Twitch never really had to deal too much with DMCA. They even said themselves. Like they used to get like five DMCA takedown requests a month. Now they're getting thousands and thousands an hour because the companies have been able to automate the DMCA claims. So what ended up happening was they sent out a notification to basically all the streamers and said that if you don't want to lose your account, we recommend you delete your VODs, delete your clips, delete your everything. So uh, but they only gave us three days to do it. So um, I ended up deleting basically everything. I tried to salvage as much as I could, but three days is not enough. Like if they gave us a month, then I could have transferred everything and so on. But three days is ridiculous. So a lot of my first playthroughs of a lot of games were completely lost, including Ghost of Tsushima, God of War. You know, these are big, amazing games, which I did actually go back on Platinum and gone gone from existence no stream backup no vod like it didn't happen so that's why i set up the let's play channel uh, from now on i am out every day uploading it transferring from twitch to that let's play channel so it doesn't happen again simple as that but that's just that's life you know things happen things go wrong sometimes and so on and i'm sure 20 years from now i'll be like oh yeah that game 20 years ago goes to the shima whatever but um it's a shame right now that these things happen but with life, I feel like it's important to just learn from mistakes that have happened in the past. So my mistake in that situation was not transferring sooner because the export to YouTube button has always been there. But I've just, I, have, I wasn't using it until now. So I wish I was, but like I said, whatever, that's life. So um, I am having a lot of fun with everything I'm doing and I am trying to make it efficient so that I don't overwhelm myself. So that's why, for example, on this channel, I'm only going to do these sort of videos once a week. And um, on the shorts channel, I could do them every day because they're less than a minute. You know, the whole point of a short video is less than a minute to record and upload and everything. So it's very, very fast. So I could do that every single day. That's no problem for me. And then I have the Final Fantasy 14 channel which is basically just a filter of my 14 content from my main channel. So I don't actually upload to that channel. And then the Let's Play channel, exporting VODs from Twitch to, over to YouTube, it's a very fast process, but it takes hours and hours and hours and hours to process. So what I tend to do is, before I go to bed, I transfer the latest stream over to YouTube. And then first thing in the morning, I'm in a routine now where basically I... Um, essentially check my YouTube comments, check what other things I need to do, publish a Let's Play video, upload the short video, and so on. And then when I'm done, I've had breakfast, you know, had a shower, done everything I need to do. Then I simply um, go ahead and live stream all day. So, um, and what I'm gonna try and do as well is just fit in a schedule. Like, cause it gives me a purpose, you know, that's the thing. I think that's what I've been missing for a long time is a good routine and a good purpose each day. So for example, I now know from going forward that every Sunday I'm going to be making these videos, these vlogs for you guys. And like I said, I would really like to hear your thoughts about things that happen during the week and so on. And during the live stream, one thing I really like is when silly things happen, <laughs> especially like if you've been to the live stream, like Mifri's driving school. If I drive in video games, it doesn't end well usually. So um, like having clips be made every single stream is awesome. And then I try and compile them each month or every two months or whatever into compilations and I throw them on the main channel. So and I love, I love watching that because it's just funny to relive those moments. 
and um, generally, I'm a lot happier. So that's the the main the main thing. And because I keep myself so busy, it feel it fills me with that feeling of accomplishment, feeling content with my life, that I've done everything I could do that day and so on. And it's not even really about the money anymore because I'm debt free. So I am making enough money from YouTube and Twitch to cover my rent. And what else do I need? You know, I pay for the internet, I pay for my phone, I, ha I can buy infinite food. I say infinite, you know, as in like the food that I need for my life. And I've, in my personal life, I've cut out so many things. So I don't have soda anymore. I don't have cakes or anything with a lot of sugar. Because what happened to me, probably, I don't know, four or five months ago now. Um, no, actually, no, it's longer. It's a long time. Yeah, I actually, I quit chocolate more than two years ago. And you might be watching the video and be like, God, this guy is crazy. So the reason why is because the day before I quit chocolate, I ate, uh, um, was it three like chocolate donuts, a, a brown a brownie, a pack of Cadbury mini eggs? I, I was basically I was almost on an all chocolate diet, and that night I did not feel well. It did not end well, um, and uh, I'll spare you the details, but I think you know what happened basically. Um, so I ended up quitting chocolate, and the the idea was is that I would quit chocolate for a week, two weeks, whatever, to get back to normal. And now it's been two years. But what ended up happening as well is that because I cut the chocolate out, I had sugar withdrawals. And when I Googled about it and I was looking at what is, what are the symptoms of withdrawing from sugar and stuff like that, it was like they said it's the equivalent of literally quitting illicit drugs. As simple as that. It's the same thing. So I was like, oh, Damn. So I've not touched chocolate since, and I, I tried to keep the high sugar out of my life completely. So I don't have cakes, I don't have muffins, I don't have anything with chocolate, I don't have even fruit juices anymore because the high sugar, I don't have soda or anything. It's just now water. Now, um, as I said at the beginning of the video, recently I've cured my acid reflux. So those who have been watching me for a long time you see, I used to hard swallow like that all the time, hard swallow. And that would be me fighting back stomach acid. So, and the way that I managed to solve that is how I drink the water. Because I think all the time uh, people say to you the amount you should drink, you know, one liter, two liters a day, three liters, whatever, 12 glasses, eight glasses, whatever, you know, they're, they're all the time they're saying the amount. But at no point in any of this do they tell you how to drink the water. So I watched a video, uh, which I'll try and find the link for, and I'll put in the description, um, from a doctor. And what the doctor basically said is when you drink, literally sip. Only sip, never chug. So, like this. That's it. Barely, barely anything, barely a sip. And when you're drinking water, just keep sipping all the time. Um, and only drink when you're thirsty and so on. So, but watch that video, see what you like. So I've been just sipping because when, when you hear these things, you're kind of like, okay, let me try it. Like, I, but it works for me a lot. And her justification is, is that when you chug water, you basically wash away all the enzymes, all the good stuff in your stomach and the acid. And then your stomach has to refill your stomach with that stuff because it needs it in order to digest the food and so on. So by sipping, you reduce the chance of you washing away the essential enzymes and stuff in your stomach, which you need all the time. So, and since I've been sipping, acid reflux is gone, heartburn is gone completely. Um, and I feel so much better. I feel much more energized. And also as well, so not just with the vitamins, like, so I already felt great with the vitamins anyway, but I feel even now better that the acid reflux is gone. So like, do check it out. Um, this the video I link, I'll link in the description because it has helped me. It's just, it's a line of inquiry. As I said, I'm not a doctor, I'm not medically qualified. I'm just saying about what worked for me. So yeah, so I think I'll keep it at that for this week. 
and next week we'll carry on let me know in those comments down below um like what's happened to you this week i, I would like i love to hear people's stories about their life so and generally like i said i'll try and keep this up every single sunday so please look forward to another one of these every single sunday um to just talk about my life simple as that and part of the motivation for me making these videos is i myself want to look at these 10 20 30 years from now and be like wow i might not feel it now but i was so young um it's funny to look back so 60 year old mifri who's watching this video what's up you did a good job to survive that long well done <laughs> so um i know what i'm talking about with what's in my own head so yeah Anyway, guys, I've linked two other videos to this video. This will be an ongoing thing. So every single week, there'll be more vlogs. So let me know in those comments down below your experience and so on. And I'll see you next Sunday, hopefully.